Duly Noted, 2-12-2015. Hi, I'm Dr. Kathy Dooley. I'm here again with the amazing Anna Folkemer. We are the administrators and uh, educators for Immaculate Dissection. We have lower extremity, uh, it's level two, coming up soon in New York on June 27th and 28th. And uh, Danny Corp did an incredible job here painting up Miss Anna to show the anterior and lateral crural compartments. I wanted to focus on um, the anterior crural compartment for a second. Um, Anna, you're a dancer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've had a Jones fracture? Yes. Jones fracture is a fracture, dancer's fracture of the fifth metatarsal. And where's your fracture line? Yeah, it usually happens very distally. So people lose digital control. This is very important for gait, for ambulation. So they end up with issues with the knees, possibly with bunions, possibly with hips, even up into the opposite shoulder. So I wanted to show Anna how she might be able to improve her anatomy a little bit. So you can see here, this is the tibialis anterior. He's a dorsiflexor. He brings the foot towards the shin. Uh, all these guys are dorsiflexors. This little guy in here that's deeper is extensor halcyon longus. He's this tendon that you see if Anna raises her toe up, raise your toe up here, right, and drop it back down. This long tendon goes all the way down to the distal phalanx of the, of the uh, first digit. This is extensor digitorum longus. Extensor digitorum longus is going to be crossing over, and then if you extend your toes up, you can see the tendons here, of extensor digitorum longus. So um, we want to see if you have good digital control of each digit, right? So we're both basically focusing on extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus. Okay, so I'm going to block her other toes and ask her to extend through the first digit. You can see she tries to supinate to create that action. i do it again. It's a little bit of a challenge, right? How about the second toe? A little bit of a challenge. And the third toe, a little bit easier. How about the fourth? Uh-oh, getting harder than the fifth. Nah. <laughs> so she's lost some mobility on the fifth digit, and that's important because we want her to be able to move through gait with the, with the fifth digit being a, an important stability point. So uh, all stability should be matched with mobility, and you don't move so well through that. So I can train her to, to help with that. So we're going to try to passively, eccentrically load these muscles here. And what we do is we do that in a standing position. So go ahead and stand up. Now Anna, what you're gonna do is roll your toes underneath. And it's not gonna be increasingly comfortable, but we're gonna try to rotate her foot outward a little bit, and she's gonna put pressure onto that fifth digit. And I'm sure that doesn't feel like the best thing ever, but, and then come back, and then just shift your weight forward into the toes as you're going back into flexion. Go back into flexion for me, there you go. And just shift your weight. She's shifting her weight into it. Good, come back. Good, after you do that a few times, then you want to try to do a little bit more of an active uh, shorten. So you lay flat on your back. So we load it to explode it. So we're gonna put that around the fourth and fifth digits, the ones that you have trouble with, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go onto a straight leg position. And after the straight leg, you're gonna do it as well. She's gonna hook it around the fourth and fifth digit and she's gonna passively pull. And how does it feel with that? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and so her extensor digitorum longus uh, affecting the fourth and fifth digits has been a little compromised. Mm -hmm. And so we're just bringing it back to life a little bit. Good, and now come up to a standing position. And then we train her to do it actively. She can do it in half kneeling or standing. And then straight toe, never really had too much of a problem. Good, third digit, fourth digit, better than fifth digit. Hey, we got movement, <laughs> it's alive. So once you continue to work on that, you can actually get a little bit more force coming from the fifth digit. And that's gonna be extremely important for Anna to be able to manage all of these muscles at the anterior crew compartment. So extensor digitorum longus was not fully activating on the fourth and fifth digit, especially the fifth, mm -hmm. because of your Jones fracture. So a lot of dancers, Anna, share with me what your dancing coaches used to tell you. They used to come around and tell you something. Here. Yep, pull up through here. Constantly telling them to supinate, supinate, supinate. And so that's why a lot of dancers end up with Jones fractures. They have too much weight onto the outside of their, their fifth digit, and they're never really allowed to pronate. So we had a previous video of making you pronate, which right. was lovely. So she's gonna match that with trying to extend these digits, which is matched with pronation. So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna learn more, man, come and visit us. <laughs> come to Immaculate Dissection, uh, level two, 
lower extremity. We're going to be dissecting the lower extremity like this. We're taking the gross out of gross anatomy class and making it more functional for you. Um, Anna Folkmar, thank you so much. Yeah. The guinea pig as always. <laughs> Danny Cork, thank you for your great artwork. And I'm Kathy Dooley. I'll see you next time. Awesome.